Hi and welcome to another episode of Peacemake TV. In today's video for Lightroom, I'm going to show you how you can recreate this effect simply, quickly and easily. So let's take a look at the entire process now. So this is the image that we start off with. And as you can see, it's a full color image and we've got the sort of light trails that have been taken from a long exposure. So I'm gonna go through and show you how quick and easy it is to get rid of the colors you don't want and tidy up any problems you may find inherent from the colors that are being displayed in the image. So the first thing I wanna do is strip out all the colors that I don't want in this image. Now I'm sure there's multiple ways of doing this, but the quickest and easiest way is to simply come over to the HSL tab and in there you can see we've got the saturation sliders and all I'm going to do is I'm going to take out the saturation from any colors that I don't want to display. So for example, I want the red, so I'm going to leave that as it is. We're going to take the magentas and purples and so on and we're going to set all those down to zero or minus 100 I should say. So that's going to get rid of all those colors in the image. And there we go. So you can see we now end up with just the red colors in there. It still looks a little flat, so what we can do now is we can bump the saturation up on there to give it a little bit more punch and vibrance. And if we want to, so we could use the luminance to really give it a sort of full control over exactly the kind of red tone that we want. So I'm going to reduce that down a little bit to make it just a little bit more punchy. But you can see one of the problems we have is because we've got such a strong red light being dealt with in a long exposure, if we look on the buildings on the left-hand side, you can see we've got a lot of bleed of the colors in there. And if we look underneath the phone box, you can see we've got a bleed in there of the red color. Now, this is quite easy to deal with. All we need to do is come up and we're going to choose the adjustment brush. And when we do that, we can go in and we can choose to deal with any of the different controls we have. So exposure, contrast, and so on. And the one that we want is we want to deal with the saturation. So you're going to find that this is set to zero as default. So all you need to do is drag that down to the left hand side to take it to minus 100. And now when we paint onto the image, we're going to completely remove any color saturation in the image. In other words, we're going to turn anything we paint into black and white. So now we can come over, use the bracket, to increase the size of our brush. And you can see now, as I paint over any of these areas that we have with red, we're getting rid of that color in there and taking it back to black and white. So you can do this quite quickly and easily just by adjusting the size of your brush to make sure that you don't end up going over the areas you wanna keep. And just take a little bit of time to go over those areas to make sure that you've got rid of all that color that you don't want in there. Obviously, if you wanna zoom in just to make life a little bit easier, then do that. And just go through now until we get rid of all of this red color. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video quickly while I go through and make those changes and then come back and show you where we go from there. So there we go. With a little bit of time and effort, you can see you can quickly and easily clean up any of the sort of color bleed that you have in the image. So I've gone through and taken out all the bits that I don't like, cleaned up all the bits and pieces in the sort of road just to maintain just the look that I want. So there's the first part of it. We've done the color alteration. Now we can go through and tweak the image to make sure that we've got the right kind of level of punch and to get it exactly the way we want. So once I finish with the brush, I'm going to click on done. I can complete that option. So now let's go through and take a look at some of the things we can do. If we want, we can go through and we can just give it a little bit more clarity and contrast just to punch things up. If I want to, we just take the clarity up just to make everything sort of have a slight pseudo HDR effect. Coming up to the tone curve, if I want to make some changes to that, I can do that there. And what I will tend to do is come into the effects section, definitely come down to the post crop vignette, drag that in a little bit just so we can kind of focus the attention to the sort of zooming traffic lights that are going through this. Now, there really isn't much more that I would want to do to this image. You can see we have a really punchy, striking image. We've punched up the red colors, we've got rid of all the other colors and any kind of bleed that we have in the image. So that's how easy it is to create this kind of effect. Don't limit yourself to just the one color. Go through, experiment, have a little play about, see the kind of effects you can come up with. Well, I hope you found this video useful. I hope it's given you insight into a way that you can use this single color tone in your images. If you did enjoy the video, please hit that subscribe button. Give the video a thumbs up. If you'd like to download the free presets that we have available, then just follow the link in the description below and it'll take you over and you can download the growing collection of new free presets that we add almost every single week. If you have any comments, questions or feedback on this video, pop those in the comments section below. If you do enjoy the tutorials we put out on this channel, please consider popping over to Amazon where you can purchase the new ebook we've released on the Kindle store. 
eight essential Adobe Lightroom techniques where we go into detail about different techniques that every Adobe Lightroom user should really have in their arsenal. The link is in the description below and your support is much appreciated. Well, until next time, take care.